See a little ballet action by Nastasi. Good serve, good return, good volley. Might have been out. Arthur down the line and got a let and watch this. Turns around and gets it. There comes Arthur with a good forehand. Nasty had it, caught the tape. Back live. Well, you saw the chalk come 40, 30. And on the grass court, when it hits the chalk like that, it slows the bounce. Usually miss times. Beauty. Hey, for Nastasi, that's number four, and he wins the first game. Mr. Nastasi wins the first game of the second set. Nastasi serves better than Nastasi can return his serve. So if he continues to volley well, he should hold his serve. Love won second set. Arthur's won the first set 6 3. Flashing return. Well, that'll be the day danger for Arthur. He misses too many first serves. Nastasi will get around, hit his forehand, and he'll get some confidence. Fifteen. What, what a contrast 30. in return of serves. If you see here, Nastasi three, four feet behind the baseline. Ash plays almost on the baseline. And that takes Ash into a breaker. Nastasi now looking more eager and with it. Not worrying about things. And he has the break on the first two games. Funny thing, Nastasi is such a natural player. He figured that if he doesn't start flailing those shots, but on the return of serves, he's not going to break. And that's what he did. Out, Oh, he's the greatest player ever to come out of Romania. They used to call him the shepherd boy from Romania. And he said, have you ever been to Bucharest? There are no sheep there. But <laughs> it was a myth perpetrated by the British press. Right on. But I think that he'll go down when he's finished in history as tennis players. The best European since Fred Perry. He's won three straight games. We'll have more of the U.S. Open tennis coming up. Here's Arthur Ashe. He's down 0-3 in the second set. He won the first set. Nastasi's so quick. As quick as Rod Laver, I'd say, Jack. I think he's uh, actually a faster runner than Rod. Maybe Rod's reflexes are equal. But boy, this fella can really cover a lot of ground. Scares you. Hard to put the ball away from him. Top spin from the backhand. Oh. Barely oh. misses. 40. No. Thank you. 
Christ. It is in the sad to me, three games to one, second set. But the wind has calmed down a little as the afternoon has progressed, and I think it's still coming down a little towards Nastasi, so this will be Arthur's best chance to break. Not on that kind of serving. <laughs> Five aces for Ilya Nastasi. Tape intervened. It's a let, and he'll do it again. Whew. Out. Out. Like trying to show Arthur that he, he can serve at least as fast as Ash. Maybe faster. Arthur doesn't have that speed of 1968 anymore. So there's the game. It's 3-2 for Nastasi. And we'll... Ash is asking... More of the U.S. Open from Forest Hills coming up in just a moment. You seem to know it was a change game. Exactly, but it's 1-4. One 1-4. Four, one four. Quiet. This has taken over this whole stadium. There's close to 16,000 people, but they're very, very quiet all of a sudden. That's four double faults for Ash. First in this set. He had two in the very first game of the match in which he lost his serve. He seemed jittery then, as players often are opening up. Running around the backhand. But when you do that, you have to hit an awful good one. We leave the court open. 40, 15. Out. Game, Mr. Ash. Mr. Nastasi Lee. Four games to two. Second set. A gentleman in the right of your screen. He's the football judge, and he really has to make a sprint. <laughs> Gus Campisi. Oh! oh! Well called, long. It was out. That was the correct call. <laughs> <laughs> and that Jack Starr made the call. Ely says, okay, sir. That's what he calls everybody when he's kidding them. As he asked Gus Lana, the umpire, correct call. As Gus Lana, Arthur, on the other side, not seeing too much humor. I think Arthur knows that he has to get himself plugged in against this guy and stay there. He doesn't want to see any humor because he knows that Mr. Hey. just like to jolly him out of his concentration. Love. Approaching the umpire. Now, let's, let's see, see if we can, can listen in. Hear it. And, you know, let the umpire play. You know, don't say that's the correct call. It just takes some time. Okay. Well, the umpire was just trying to give his support to the decision of the linesman, but Arthur and Nastasi both feel that uh, they just like to have the call, and that's it. That's more American tradition in umpiring, I think, than it is in Europe and Father Nastasi. 
body now. Anastasi has a game for Mr. Anastasi. Five games, three, one second to that. Steve Flink, our aide de camp, to go down to uh, Bill Talbert, who's done such a fine job running this tournament, to ask why the benches are so far away, because traditionally they're beside the umpire's chair. He said, we don't want to block the view of any of the paying customers, so if the players want to rest, they can walk. Fair enough. Ball. Actually, in the old days, they never would allow a stool to be out there except in Davis Cup competition, because the rule says play should be continuous. Out. Out. Fifteen, love. So Arthur Ashe, who has won the first set, now a set game against him. Down to five. <laughs> Boy, you better put on a bulletproof vest against this Nostasi. You rifle that. Nastasi ran about, yeah, he's going to get back and play. Arthur's showing a little unhappiness. He could take 15 or 20 seconds and get a lot of rest by that kind of a play. 30-15, well, The players are all very fond of Ilya, but they don't like his tactics when they're playing against him. Five games to three, second set. So, Elia Nastasi, who holds the commission of lieutenant in the Romanian army, the best tennis playing weapon they have, will serve for the second set. Oh, ball. Nastasi. believe the speed we just saw. Let's see it again in slow motion. Nastasi picks up a half volley. Arthur has a real good shot at him. Right down the middle, Nastasi there for the placement. Nastasi, by the way, two points from winning the second set. Beauty. Thirty. Nastasi has a different way of playing a ball when it gets over his head. He just sort of gives it a bolo punch. <laughs> Maria Bueno used to do that. So, Nastasi raises himself to set point. This match is dead even. The size wins the set, six three. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hills coming up. Serve in the second game of the second set was enough to give Nastasi the set at six three. Ash leads off. Of course, in the first two sets, the player serving first was the winner of the set. I wonder if everybody heard that let ball that kept that ball over the net into the court. Top of the net.
15. Getting a lot of aeronautical noise, planes flying over. We're very near LaGuardia in the traffic pattern. Dossie really bothering Arthur Ashe on that second court. Arthur's doing quite well for the first court, which is the one they're playing now, but he must get more first serves in when he gets to the backhand court. Oh, oh. Frank Hammond there calling that one. He hangs out there. I sometimes think he's going to fall on his head. by Frank Hammond. You hear those whistles, the Forest Hills thrushes. Disagreeing with a call. Out. First game of the third to act. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hills coming up in just a moment. Second game, third set. Nastasi leading 30 love. And he's serving. 30 to 15. Out. 30. Fifteen. Oh! Ball. Ball. Double ball. Second double ball. For Nastasi. Stasi, who took Stan Smith to five sets before losing the Wimbledon final. Out. Out. You. Smith, the number one player of America, but Arthur Ashe may take over that ranking, having beaten Stan in straight sets in the quarterfinals here. Stan was the defending champion. He got it. Arthur's asked his father, very happy about that one. He took two smashes. Arthur Hayes Sr. And he's having the flutter. That ball's good. They have a riot here. Ball was good. You mean it was all good? Oh, good. That is a bad ball, eh? That bounce, I should say. Game, Seven, eight, Seven, eight, eight are one all. Third set. We're seeing a great demonstration of why Arthur Ashe will always be a great big match player, bud. He got a terrible call. And he hasn't even looked at the linesman. And he's all set to go. Nothing's going to disturb him. You don't think that would have bothered Nostalgia, do you? Ooh. Oh! Ball. Such contrast in temperament. Ashe. The quiet, cool one serving to the volatile Nastasi. Out. 15. Love. Picking bad bounce for Nastasi. The court's playing much quicker today. The balls are not picking up hardly any grass stain, so everything's a little faster. Lots of wind dried the court out yesterday.
Hey. 2-1. Game for Third set. He leads. Two games to one. The boys are still feeding each other out at 1-2 here. Third set, one set all. That looked to fall to me. It's called good. right off that Love. Yeah, that's maddening for Arthur because he made the good play, had the easy shot. Now, Nastasi said something to someone in the stand. Now he's just trying to get the ball boy to recognize that he needed another ball. People, Bud, might wonder why Arthur runs around his best shot, the backhand, to hit the forehand. But naturally, on that court, if you run around your backhand, you're in the center of the court. Game to all. Game to all. Third set. Well, there's two easy games. One for Arthur, one for Nastasi. Ready to go. Level on. Two all. Five double faults for Arthur Ash. Very touchy volley there for Arthur. That wind helped him a little bit, just held it up. Six double faults. He was really wobbling on that one, Jack, throwing himself all over the place. Well, he, it broke his rhythm when he had a bad bounce on his toss there. You see that they get a little rhythm out of bouncing the ball. Arthur usually bounces that ball twice. Some of the boys, Jimmy Connors, gets up to about eight or nine bounces. Jimmy thinks he's dribbling. Dossie unhappy. He really had a pretty good shot at a passing shot there. But Arthur's having trouble in that court, so he took a lot of the speed off. He made sure he got the first one in. Ash has it. 3-2, and we'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hill coming... First point. And Ash has it. Love to see. Strazzy won the Canadian Open this year. Finalist at Wimbledon won the United States Indoor Championship in 1970. Out to see. Off. More music from the people who disagree with the call. That's the Forest Hills tradition. Called out. 40, 50. 
Very slow call. Mustafi had to give. Yes, he indicates there's doubt. Arthur agrees. An opening here. Great power there to hit that ball from that deep. Get it by Nastasi. Could have lost his head on that shot and said he reflexes beautifully. And it's three all. Boy, that's really control. Here's Nastasi. Really gets a big serve in. Arthur returns it well. Nastasi plays a little bit of a bad bounce slice down there. Arthur drills a forehand crossbar, but Edie's right there. Puts it away for the game. Three all now. First point here in the seventh game. Out. Fifty. Love. They've only played four times before. They're 2-2 in the rivalry. Haven't played for more than a year since Richmond Indoor, Arthur's hometown. Nastasi beat him there. Out. Out. 30. Love. There's that reason for that, bud, is Arthur has been on one world of tennis, that of WCT, and Nastasi has stayed independent. But fortunately, thanks to you and Donald Dell, Walter Elcock, Alan Heyman, some others, Lamar Hunt, Mike Davis, who made the piece, everybody will be together from now on. Oh. Oh. At least in the major Forty. open. No. Let's hope so, bud. I, I felt Nastasia was going to go in and hit that ball in the air, but he elected just to casually play the ground stroke. Four three for Arthur Ashe. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championship from Forest Hill Yay. coming up in just a moment. Danger game here. If Ash can break through, he'll be serving Out. for the third set. He makes Out. a good start. 15. Fifteen. All. Arthur just wants the ball boy to get over on the side so he won't distract him. The side Arthur doing a little jitterbugging there, trying to get Nastasi to perhaps watch him instead of the ball. 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 match completely even. One set all, four all. Remember, if we reach six games all, they'll play the sudden death tiebreaker. Oh, ball. I can pick his eye off that one too, Jeff. Yep. Ball. He takes a very long swing sometimes on those volleys. Hard to coordinate it. Oh, boy. I didn't think his volley was going to go over the net. Well, Nastasi never got over to get it anyway, but it looked to me like Arthur played a ball that was going to land in the middle of the alley. 15 all, all the points seeming huge at this point at 4 all. We got it 
off the frame of his racket. Still remarkable. This fella gets balls that no one else has even tried for. They just haul a good shot, but he digs in and he reaches them most of the time. He goes to 5-4. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships from Forest Hills coming up in just a moment. Game against Ilya Nastasi, 4-5. No breaks in the third set. Love and they're drawing nearer. Sudden death. That's at six games all. The best of nine point tiebreaker. Both boys have lost to real feel in their ground strokes, but luckily they're both still serving great, and that's why we're at five all. It's sort of a lull in the match. It happens in a long five set, possibly a five set match. They start out brilliantly. Can't play that way all the time. Out, out, 15, lost. Well, they're just approaching the one hour and 20 minute mark. Certainly both boys are in great shape. They'll go the three or whatever it takes hours to finish this. That's the sort of shot that keeps Arthur Ashe Sr. sitting not far from us, clenching his hands and chewing his gum at a fast pace. An easy shot. Arthur blows it. Got some chalk. A lot of chalk. Tight as Sparrow on the center line. Call it wide. Wrong service court. Out. out. Good call. 15, so this is where things tighten up a little bit. Arthur, but he wants to get this first one in here. Out. Lucky shot for Arthur. He was fortunate, Jack. Yep. And what a big point it was because it would have been 1540 had oh, he yeah. won it. What a switch. Nostowski did the same thing, though, to Gorman yesterday at the right time. Point set. Good. It's good. It touched the top of the net. Floated into the corner. And here is the first break point of the set. And crash, Arthur Ashe. He's been coming in for that first serve. Well, well, big point. Dossie unhappy that he floated that one a little high, but great serve by Arthur.
One of the few players who could have even reached that ball to look at it. Dawson's down. Great combination shots by Arthur Ashe. He's really playing these clutch points marvelous. Every first serve hit. Now the advantage to us. The Edie is trying to let us know now that the airplanes are coming so close to disturbing him, he can hardly hear himself think. They have airplanes in Bucharest. Five. And the burden now, they don't wait. And that's the shot. Hey. Dominique. Dominique Grazia. She's a Belgian fiancé of Ilya Nastasi. Says, bring home that 25 grand, baby. I want to go shopping. Right to here, sudden death. Out come the red flags all over the stadium, signifying sudden death time. Gus Lana in the chair. This is best of nine points. First one to reach five. Ash will serve first. He will serve two points. Ash has been perfect in sudden death. He's four for four during the tournament. Has the first point. Nastasi has won two sudden deaths, lost one, but the important one was yesterday against Tom Gorman, five points to four, winning the second set, third set, and pulling out the match. Nastasi trying to bother him, bouncing around. Those are two fantastic volleys by Arthur Ashe. Good returns. And so now Nastasi, behind the first two points, he can equalize. He must really, I think, win both these points, or Arthur should have the big edge. Oh! Bolt. Oh. Nastasi thought he had an ace. No. Nope. Jack Starr says no. And it was out. <laughs> Definitely out. Jack Starr on the line. We thought it was out. He is one of the very best. Second serve coming up for Nastasi. He's behind. 0-2 in the tiebreaker. Very near a double fall. You're so right. Round two, one. Must point for Nastasi. Oh! He got chalked, but it was from the sideline behind the service line. Well out, at least a foot. Nastasi is not... It is out. He misses out. the ball. They change ends of the court. And three, one. And here's where Nastasi... Here's where Nastasi really hurts himself. Quiet, he, please. He's just... Not going to believe. Throws the towel at Jack Starr. <laughs> Call from this side. 3 1 Ash to serve. <laughs> now 4 1. And this is a set point for Ash. He's got a lot of them. Four, one.
Michael Ice has gone ahead. Dossie feels that it's really Arthur's serve, but he's wrong. No, he's wrong. It's his serve, and once again, we can say that whoever serves first usually wins the set, at least in this match. Oh! Oh! He serves first because Ash served first in that tiebreaker. So if there's another tiebreaker, Nastasia will be serving first. That equalizes. Thirty. Touch the net, detected by the net court judge, Jason Smith. He'll serve it again. Oh. Ball. Now that touched the net, too, but it bounded beyond the service line, so it's just a fall. Thirty all. Thirty all, Jack. I think Arthur would like to jump on him right here while he, his morale is down somewhat. Boy, would he ever. Yeah. Yeah, you better watch it. Out. Out. And the game goes to the Stasi. First game. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships coming up from Forest Tennis. There have been boos for him out here, cheers. He affects people very strongly. And he affects us. Arthur Ice very strongly there with a winning return. Arthur Ashe, you notice that he puts one ball in his pocket. There he does it. He does that because when he wants to volley, he doesn't want to have the left hand having another ball there. He wants to get his left hand on the racket. A little disgusted with himself. He's losing the rhythm on his serve. Not many of them are going in. Nastasi, he backs off for just a second. We'll have to watch him, Jack. Annie Jones has been with us on some of these telecasts and said that Arthur sort of bobbed his head when he's been serving today, and that's what causes him to hit the ball into the net. Well, Arthur, sometimes when he serves the fast one, that is the one without any spin on it at all, comes over a little quick. He does go into the net more than he goes over the service line. Love 30. One off. Well, the stock is trying to indicate that uh, all the linesmen are blind. Oh, well, double ball. 
And he better concentrate. Now, John Milton could have called that a double fault. That was no problem. Three double faults from the Stasi. Miss. Just out. Love 30. Arthur rightfully going right in after that return. So Nastasi has the pressure on him now. Now here are the break points. That could cost Ilya Nastasi the championship. Very poorly played game. He's broken, and Ash leads 2-1. And we'll return to Forest Hill for more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships after this pause for station identification. Stroked his second ace of the match. 30 love. He has the upper hand now. Two sets to one and a break. He's going to have to play better. He's been very listless the last couple of games. Ball. Arthur's Ball. relentless, bud. That's the way Ball. he knows he has to keep the thumb right on this boy. If Nastasi gets a little better feel going here, he can come back. Oh, boy. Hey. has been that way all through this tournament. He's been aching to get back to this final, which he won four years ago. Big difference this year. When he played uh, Tom Walker, he didn't get to keep any money that he would deserve to win. <laughs> He's an amateur in 68. You're right. shot by Arthur. 30, 40. Stassi, every time he misses the first serve, is finding that Ash is climbing all over the second one. So this almost would be match point, in my opinion, bud. Virtually is, Jack. This is the crisis for Ilya. Oh, and again, first serve, wide. Next, last, second serve. Nothing much on that second serve. No, he, he almost came up with a double. Oh, 
Nastasi. Nastasi's showing Arthur that he really feels badly. I don't think he really does, but that was a very, very crooked type bounce. Any bad bounce is a good bounce now. Nastasi says, hit him in the center of the racket, please, Arthur. for Ash. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championship from Forest Hills coming up in just a moment. First point to Ash. Arthur Ash leading in this match. 6-3, 3-6, 7-6, 3-2. Ash, an All-American at UCLA. And national intercollegiate champion, first undergraduate. Yep. Right. He's making some good returns now, bud, but Arthur's half volleys and high volleys are just, you know, super. That remark of yours was sure to lose that point for him, Jack. <laughs> well, of course, Arthur had to stretch a long ways for that good return. Big point now for Nastasia. He's down a break. The push has to deuce. Missed. Nope. It's interesting to note that these two fellows uh, have engagements coming up next week very quickly. And Stoss, you'll be in Seattle for a big event. Super shot. Arthur Ashe will be playing in the great championships in Montreal. Stan Smith and company will be in Sacramento. Sometimes I think we have too much of a schedule for the kids to play these days, bud. Well, it's grinding, Jack. There's no doubt about that. 15 all. One of the great reactions as Arthur, great return there, nice volley by Anastasia, really a super cross court back and Ely just getting to it for a big shot, drop volley. 30 all. 30 all as we rejoin the match live. Back live, Arthur Ashe has just hit a winning backhand return. Ball. Right down the line, pressing Anastasia hard now. He likes the break so he could serve for the title. Out, 40, 30. Mr. 
Now so is he Anastasi? Ash leading two sets to one, four three, ready to serve. Great start for Nastasi. He's been muttering over there on the court while Ash no, called himself off. Me. Nastasi likes to curse in Italian. He says it's a beautiful language to curse in, and he's shocked if he curses in Romania. Boy, that's an unexpected break for Edie. Arthur hasn't been making many volley years. There's the shot that pulls Nastasi back no. into this match. If he can just take advantage of one of these three break points. The whole court. He hit a strange chipped forehand, Jack. So help me, but uh, he must be really salty, unlucky, because he hit a soft shot and the wind just picked it up and kept it going. Still two breaks. Two points for the break. One more chance for Nastasia. Really a fine volley that buried Nastasi. Good return by the Romanian, but Arthur so sure, so sound on the volley today. Stasi, and he finally makes it difficult for Arthur, who blocks it wide. A fourth break point. Next star on the service line called fault, and so did Titus Sparrow. It was wide and long. the breakers. Four all and Jack. That's the first time Jack on a break point that Arthur has missed his first serve and it cost him. Yes, it did. A great game by the Romanian. Boy, has he got everybody on their edge of the seats now. Oh, boy. Arthur Ashe Sr. watching hoping. In the elbow. He's serving to stay in the fourth set, leading two sets to one. Uh -oh. It's going to be good. Take a look at that again in slow motion. It had so much to it. Nastasi didn't do much in the return. Arthur played it down the center. Here's a great lob. Arthur has to let it bounce. He gets it back. Nastasi has to let it bounce. It's so deep. It comes up a little short on the smash. Arthur comes in. Look at this forehand down the line. Super point. And now it's love 30 in this game live as Arthur's two sets. 
Fifteen. Gonna say, buddy, he's two points away from losing the set. Still is. Still is, right. On the second point, which we missed through the slow-mo, Nastasi slashed another forehand pass. Nastasi likes the thought of opposing the second serve right here. And what he does with it. He rips it and takes himself to double set point. Nastasi, looking listless. He's a con man. He's right back alive now. Is that even? I try to play every day, I understand. The match is even. Two sets all. Nastasi was down a break, looking like he couldn't have cared less. But what a week. Well, 15. And now this fifth set is for the championship. Fifteen, all. Ash has been here before. He needed five sets to knock down Tommy Ocker four years ago for the title. Nastasi has been here before this year at Wimbledon. Five sets, and he lost it to Stan Smith. This crowd is really divided now. I think they were a little unhappy with Nastasi early in the match, but when he broke back to get even and then break again to win the set, they've come around his way. Now, despite all his chicanery, you have to like him. He's an attractive player, an attractive guy. Now the break points stacked against Nastasi. Ride out. 30, 40. Another break point. He took a chance and blew it. First game of the fifth to Ag. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championship. First serve for Arthur Ashe in the fifth set. He has broken the Stasi, and he stumbles right into trouble himself. Lots of it. No, 30... the break points. Squeezing Arthur Ashe. And missing that first serve. Out. 15. 40. Boy, Arthur Ashe. 20 of courage a tremendous fast serve down the middle to keep Nastasi from running around the forehand, so he saved at least one of those three break points. Two to come. It's wide. And once again, Nastasi has pulled up. one Well, Bud Collins, uh, at this point, with the kids being one all in the fifth set, it'd be pretty tough to predict a winner, but you really have to hand it to Nastasi. Twice he's been behind on the break, once in the fourth set, once in the fifth set, and he's come back. That's a bad sign for Arthur Ashe. New balls, one all in the Stassi third. Oh! Ball! Oh! 
15 left. A little element coming into the match, that shadow is coming in, the one that's just almost catching up with Nastasi as he serves. Going to make it tough to see. Well, Ash didn't see that one at all. 30 left. set in which every game is a struggle, Jack. Boy. Keeps coming back, Jack. Well, Al Buman on that center line paid for his call. It hit him right in the back. And double fall, and that hurt Paul Perez. Seven of them. These shadows may bother Arthur more. You know, he's wearing contact right. lenses, Jack. Boy, he needs those first serves to go in. in good position right here. And he knows it. Boy, is he alert. We don't have to tell him the score. Oh, ball. Fine volley. 15. Well, you know, Nastasi can come back. Two years ago, down two sets to love to Cliff Ritchie in the U.S. Open indoor final. And he won it. Only player ever to do that in the indoor. Oh. Oh. That was a tickly shot for Arthur because that ball was wide right in the shadow. He played it right very carefully. He'll be very careful. He knows that Ash has got the courage to try that dangerous serve. Two all. Good one. Mr. Ash feeling a little better, I'm, I'm sure. Which way? Oh. two pick points. Dominique Grazia does not want to watch her fiancé right now. Now she will. Her fiancé, Ilya Nastasi. Big point here, the 30-15 point. Arthur's oh, right, return hits Jason Smith in that court, Judge. Good. It is good. That's what Mr. Ash up. 
Dorothy's dead. Dominique wishes she had ten or fifteen other fingers to cross. And the game is for Nastasi, five games to two. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Ready tennis championship coming up from Forest Hill with his fourth eight. This is the job facing him. He has to hold, break, and hold merely to get even. Out, Match game against him. Arthur Ashe. Game. Now, will this be his last game in the stadium, and will he leave a loser? He wants to firm up that concentration as much as possible. Ilya Anastasi can become the first Romanian ever to win this championship, and certainly this year, this is the big one. Everybody here at the U.S. Open. Shallow second serve. He needs three points to become champion. We're going to see some errors, bud. That shadow is getting rougher and rougher. Good serve and a good return. He had the whole court. Nastasi had not much he could do with that net court ball. But he, uh, kept, he kept it in play. That was kept the it in play, and Arthur let it get beyond him. Right, two points from the match for the Romanian. That'll go out. Uh, out. Thirty four. See, that's not pressure or tension that Nastasi's missing there. That's very difficult to catch the ball, even sight it. Way long. Dominique Gracia, her fiance, Ilya, against Arthur Ash Jr., a break point. He's got it all in front of him right here. Nastasi, too quick. Happiness for Dominique. And sadness for Dad. Arthur could have gone the other way. Now, Arthur just trying to get a photographer to sit down. Let him play the game. Two points away from triumph again. Now, Arthur. 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 By an inch and a half. Nastasi, Nastasi. And Nastasi has the match right here on his racket. The Open Championship at match point. And he'll have to suffer through a second serve. Dominique says the 
take the $25,000 in $1 bills and spread them around. Well, Amy, I'm, I'm sure is really overcome with what he's just accomplished. But let's let's see the last and the match point in slow motion as Ely serves the second ball. Arthur hits a very good return. Comes up a let. Now watch this. Look where he places it. Is that touch? Is that feel? And look uh -huh. at the reaction and heartbreak for Arthur Ashe. And what reaction from a great, great athlete, Edie Anastasi. And it reminded me the time. There's Arthur trying to compose himself, and he'll do that very nicely. One of the great, great sportsmen in our game, bud. But I was just thinking of Anastasi's reaction to a let ball when Mickey Mantle was trapped off of first base in, a, in I think, the series against Pittsburgh. He some way got back. Yeah, I think that's the way Nastasi reacted, just like a fantastic athlete that he is. Flip volley off the net cord. We'll have more of the U.S. Ilya, first of all, I want to present the cup to you as the champion of the United States. I want to present to you the gold ball which marks forever that you won the championship of the United States. Really? But as you seem to be keen on leaving, I don't know whether you want it, but I do have a check for $25,000 for you. to remember my English and uh, I think I just remember three words. One is thank you, one is I was lucky and uh, one is I see you next year. Arthur, you are a great credit to the game. May you long be in the top tennis. The silver ball, which the runner-up of the United States Open Championships is awarded. And finally, the check for $12,000. It's been a pretty hectic week on um, both sides of the Atlantic and pretty tough to, to watch television. You really don't, want, don't know what to watch, so we've been watching the Olympics, and yesterday I went back and watched uh, Nastasi v. Gorman. Mr. Nastasi, sorry. And uh, I came out here today really expecting I'd win, knowing full well, having played him three or four times before, that it would be a hell of a fight. But uh, I think you'll agree with Mr. Heyman that he's a very colorful player. And when he uh, brushes up on some of his court manners, he's going to be even better. Nastasi does, and I would probably get 25. But I'd just like to end with reiterating what Mr. Tauber said and thanking you all for myself, for the tennis players. It's really been a great year. Tennis has been booming like crazy, and it's all due to people like you to come out. So 
I'll see you again next year, maybe in the finals. Thank you. We'll have more of the U.S. Open Tennis Championships in Forest Hills coming up in just a moment. <laughs> 